Hey guys, Dan here from DanceTube.tv and today I have a really sweet video for all of you aspiring filmmakers out there. So this is an audio test on some entry level microphones available on the market. The three microphones I'm going to show you are all available from Rode. I will have all the links in the description below. But these are the two onboard directional microphones that I have. I have the Video Micro which only just came out. I got this for about $79 or $80 roughly I think it rounded up to. Uh, with a conversion from eBay and then I have the video mic go which I've used for a little while now uh, this is my new bad boy here and the audio that I'm capturing right now is from the Rode smart lab plus so I have three different microphones here I'm going to interchange between the three of them and I'm just going to show you the audio quality all three of them do not have any option to change the gain or to customize any of the audio settings there it's just a straight out of the box, ready to go microphone. And that's perfect for an entry level filmmaker, someone who just wants to pick it up and start vlogging or wants to start getting audio out and about. This one here has the dead cat or the windshield. It also has a built-in stabilizer, the same with this one, uh, just to ensure that you know it doesn't move around too much and interfere with the audio. Uh, they both have mounts down the bottom here with the hot shoe mount. So very simple, and then you have the 3.5 mil jack, which needs to plug into a plug-in power adapter or a little port on your camera. Not every camera has that, so you need to make sure that you have the PIP, plug-in power, uh, and that's just a port basically. And plug it in and it's ready to go. No other options, very simple. I personally really like the Video Micro here. It has a nice metal body. It also has the windshield. It's very compact and small and it's lightweight as well. This one's a little bit more cumbersome, um, but in terms of price, this one was about 120 when I picked it up, um, but it does vary. I will have Amazon links. I will have links to the Australian sites. Uh, Rode is an Australian company. Uh, Amazon, I will have the American links there. So it depends where you're located in the world but for me for the Australian prices the micro I picked up for $80 on eBay and the video mic go I picked up for roughly I think it was either $100 or $120 I can't remember some people have it for $150 the real retail price just varies depending on where you are in the world um, but right now we are checking out the Smart Lab Plus. This is a fantastic little reporter mic or a lapel mic that you can attach to your body. At the moment I have it about the same distance away as I'm going to have these. It's just sitting on my tripod just below the camera at the moment. I didn't attach it to myself because I wanted to show you guys the audio on this bad boy. It actually works quite well from a distance. And then I'm going to check out these two right now. This audio is being captured on the Rode Video Micro which is located just above the camera on my hot shoe mount so just so you guys know roughly where I'm positioning them they are in the same location even the lapel mic that I had before is slightly lower um, but they're in the rough kind of same location uh, in each test that I have here but the micro here is a compact on-camera microphone and it's a directional microphone it will direct towards the subject so right now for vlogging or for talking to an audience this is perfect it doesn't get any of the audio around me it doesn't have like the audio from behind you or whatever that may be it will be directed on the subject which is fantastic especially when you're outside because this little bad boy here has the windshield on top or the dead cat as a lot of people call it and that works really well as well uh, for this test right now it's quite quiet in here it's quite still there's not really much going on but I do have lights next to the camera here which is producing noise I have a monitor here and I have a few other things like uh, my phones over there so there may be interference but the fact that it's directed at me should hopefully be a true test of how well this audio um, captures, or how well, sorry, the microphone captures the audio right now. Uh, I'm loving this little microphone. I keep staring at it for some reason. It looks really nice on a camera as well. That's something that I prefer over the other one, which is this one here, the Video Mic Go, which is slightly more expensive. Uh, I got this one about a year and a half ago. The one above you I got literally like a few days ago. It's brand new. Um, and I like the one that I have on top. It's got a metal design, a lot more sturdy. This one's all plastic. It feels a little bit more flimsy and it's also a little bit more cumbersome, a lot larger. It's got that little kind of slip there, which you can have on to protect it, or I guess you could have it off if you really wanted. Uh, but it's got that nice road branding on the side there. The one that I have on top doesn't have like the full on road branding. It just looks like a professional microphone. Right now we have the Video Mic Go, which is connected right now. This is the audio captured from the Video Mic Go. 
Uh, like I mentioned before, a little bit more of a flimsy design. It also doesn't have the windshield. You can purchase it for the Video Mic Go. That's an additional fee online. But this little bad boy here, the one that I was testing before, has really decent audio from it. I love it. It also has, like I said, the dead cat or the windshield, which is detachable. You can take that off and just have this tiny little bad boy here. It's got a nice little suspended um, stabilizer there, nice metal body on it. It's tiny, it's com compact. It actually is a compact microphone. The other one is classed as a compact microphone, but obviously technology as it advances, things get smaller, a lot more powerful and everything. So this is the latest release from Rode, or one of their latest releases, and I'm just blown away with it. Um, obviously we're gonna have to have a listen to the audio and we're gonna have to compare them, and I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, I use all of these microphones though. They're fantastic for what I use them for, and I guess it just depends on what you guys are going to be using these for. As an early level filmmaker, as someone who's going to be starting out quite early, you're either going to want a reporter mic if you're going to be doing those discussions, those vlog type videos, because you can position it on your body, on your chest, wherever it is, on your pants, I have it sometimes and it picks it up, or you can have that directional microphone and you can pick up just the subject yourself. So either way, they're all quite cheap. The lav mic, the Smart Lav Plus, I got for about 75 from memory. You also need to get an adapter for that one. I will have all the links in the description below because the Smart Lav Plus is designed just for a smartphone. So you have to get this adapter to work it, uh, to, to allow it to work on your camera. And then these two here, the Micro, the Rode Micro and the Video Mic Go, they both work straight out of the box on a camera. These microphones are all fantastic for an entry level filmmaker. They do the job and they are affordable. That's what I really love about them. And for me, for my channel, I personally prefer the Lav, the uh, Smart Lav Plus. It just works really well for my up close videos like my Loot Crate versus Nerve Block or my unboxings or whatever it may be. It seems to work a lot better. It's a lot more efficient and it's got that dynamic range. It's a bit nicer, a bit more crisp. Um, I haven't tested this one yet fully, but this one comes in probably at a close second. And the video might go, which is older technology. It still works really well though, and it's got a nice design on it. Um, but yeah, they're all great microphones. It just depends what you want to use it for. So I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. What are you guys looking into getting? Um, when you start making videos, what is your main kind of goal out of making videos? Vlogs, is it travel videos? Whatever it may be, you will need a different microphone for a different purpose so I'd love to know what you guys are starting in the future maybe a video in the future you're gonna start a series or a channel or whatever it may be or maybe you already have started and you're looking for a better microphone then one of these three microphones is affordable and it will improve your audio substantially which is something you really need online there's nothing worse than crackly terrible audio there is nothing worse the image quality could be terrible and if the audio was at least kind of manageable or audible it wouldn't be that bad because you actually can hear it your senses aren't just kind of cringing and you know audio is one of the most powerful senses that we experience as well as the visual sense so I guess those two combined look into audio look into lighting look into your camera and you will have a nice little setup anyone can get that for an affordable price but I would love to know what you guys have and I really appreciate you guys commenting below so let me know what you think Please comment who won this one. Was it the Video Mic Go? Was it the Rode Video Micro? Or was it the Smart Lav Plus? All entry level, all within that budget, that tight little $70 to $120 budget. Pretty affordable for most people, especially if you're starting out video making and you want to actually get into it kind of professionally or semi-professionally. Let me know what you think, guys. I love all your feedback and all of your support. Make sure to have a fantastic day and peace out.